My name is Flower Child. I'm an Atlanta-based producer, songwriter, um, musician, and that's pretty much who I am. Life is just thrown at you, like, you know, being in college and whatnot. You need some, I needed some form of like escapism. And for me, that's what music was. It, it's always been that way, like my whole life. It's just like, you know, when you're young, when I was young, I would listen to like jazz and stuff like that. And it would make me feel a certain way. I knew I liked it a lot, but couldn't really like put two and two together until I was of age. And I was like, okay, this is jazz music. This is neo soul. This is like, what I really love. You know, us young people, we have our battle with like stress or depression and stuff like that. So like, like I said, it's definitely like a form of escapism for me. So outside of music, that's like pretty much like the main inspiration for it. Like just pure love for it, me being passionate. I've never successfully used this bass line in a song, hard, but I'm gonna use it today, okay. cause fuck it, like I'm so tired of like using this bass line, and it, cause we used that in the first melodrama. Ba -ba -da -da. Ba -ba -da. Yeah. Thoughts? Oh, I'm with it, hundred percent. I wanna hear it. <laughs> It almost sounds like some type of like talk box in a way. Okay. That shit loud as hell. so much time like worrying about what other people have to say like say for instance like maybe your parents who don't think you know what you're doing is going to be lucrative for you personally I feel like if you're creative you need to like gun it and go for it now because like one thing that I've, I'm still learning is that there's a window of opportunity and you really don't want to like let it pass Sometimes I be recording niggas while I'm asleep. Like, I'll be dead ass <laughs> like this. And then somehow I just be hearing, and it's like, it's just muscle memory at this point. So I'll be asleep, and then I'll just, I'm still, like, I don't even know. Like, this shit be wild. <laughs> We do it. Just sing it a little louder. There aren't very many people pushing or even making R&B slash neo soul music in Atlanta. Jazz is obviously a dying genre as we know it. I feel like it's honestly like one of my biggest responsibilities to kind of help push that music here in the South in Atlanta, where it's so like rich in hip hop and trap music and whatnot, but we need that because, you know, everybody wants to rap, you know what I'm saying? 
there's other genres that you can get into if you do want to get into music, you know. I feel like I want to like help pioneer that sound because, you know, it's not something that's new here. Like in the 90s, we had all these great R&B musicians. Where did it go? Right. My question, you know. There are going to be a lot of people who don't support what you're doing or don't see your vision. I feel very blessed to have the people that I do have in my life right now, friends. It took a while to get my family on board, you know, but I finally like got them on board. My mom's telling people I'm blowing up. I mean, I wish she would stop saying I'm like, yo, chill, relax. Everybody is seeing it, everything like going the right direction. So. I'm excited for what's in store for my future and the people around me. And like, like I said to any creative, like make sure you gun it and go for it. And like, you know, just know like what's best for you. Like Neapolitan, sweet thing, I want your candy right.